Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Dyson Hot and Cool Fan. States on the box here that it heats in the winter and cools in the summer. It's a crazy looking fan and I figured might as well make a review about it. So let's check it out. So we've got the Dyson Hot and Cold and the Jet Focus, and it's got here the Jet Focus showing that the air is going to focus for long range and powerful airflow, or you can set it to uh, the diffuser mode so that it does more of a wide projection of the uh, surrounding air versus more of a Jet Focus stream. Shows here that it heats in the winter, cools in the summer. It has personal mode where you can select personal mode for long range, powerful heating, no more sitting close to the heater. It has diffused mode where you can select diffused mode to heat the room quickly and evenly with no more cold spots. So let's open this guy up. Out of the box you're going to get the fan you're going to get the base for the fan you're also going to get a remote to control it and of course the instruction manual so to attach the fan to the base i'm just going to place the fan on the base and turn it here until i hear a click and that seems to be locked in place so let's plug this fan in and check it out so since the remote is such a key element to this fan, I figured we'd go through the remote real quick. Uh, very lightweight, it does have an infrared eye on the front of it and you'll need to point the remote at the base of the fan in order to get it to work. On the back of the remote here, there's a, a screw open slide out tray that has the battery in it. Let's go through the buttons real quick. So these different buttons are going to operate the fan. In the uppermost left here, you're going to have your power button. This blue button is going to control the cool, put it in cooling mode. Uh, the white buttons on the left here are going to control the fan speed. These red buttons are going to control the thermostat temperature. You've got a button to put it into sleep mode to turn off after a certain amount of time. The fan does oscillate going left and right, so you can turn it on and off with this button. And then these two buttons on the bottom are going to control how it does the airflow. So you've got your direct jet focus or you can do the diffused air where it's going to spread it out more. So using my remote, we're going to go through some of the different features of the fan. So first we'll power it on. It has 10 different air speeds. Right now it's set to one down here at the base. So we'll go through the 10. So I'm cranked all the way up to 10 right now. It is definitely making some noise, but it is, uh, you know, just a wind noise. And just to kind of give you an idea here, so I've got a washcloth. You can see about how much breeze is coming through. We can bring that fan back down. In addition to that, We've got our thermostat controls here, so I can go ahead and push those. And it starts as low as 33 degrees, and that's actually going to shut the fan off. Um, it will go all the way up here. If you hold the buttons down, it goes a little faster. But I've got it set now to 99, which is as high as it's going to let me go. I can feel heat coming out of the center area here. The buttons on the remote allow you to control if you want uh, jet focus for the heat or if you want it more dispersed. So I'm going to do more of a direct and on the fan here it's actually showing me so it's now in the direct setting and I'm feeling the heat coming straight out of the fan using my remote again if I'm going to use the diffuser you'll see our symbol change and now instead of feeling the heat directly in front I'm feeling it coming out on the sides here. So also looking at other features here on the remote you've got a sleep timer so again our display 
on the bottom uh, base there, the fan, 15, 30, 45 an hour. I can go all the way up to, I believe, is it nine hours? Yeah, nine hours. Or you can turn the timer off. So you can set it to like 15 minutes and the fan will shut off in 15 minutes. We have it in the thermostat mode. I can hit the blue button here to put it back into just regular fan mode. Again, my light's gonna turn to blue. Another button on here is to turn on and off the oscillating feature. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Give you an example here of watching the fan move back and forth. And then when we're all done, we'll go ahead and power it down. Another feature to note about the fan is that if it is tipped or knocked over, the fan is automatically going to shut itself off. So you can also tilt the fan forward by pressing on the base. That's going to cause airflow to go more in a downward area. You can also push uh, kind of back and that's going to allow the airflow to move more in an upward fashion coming out of the fan as well. Another convenient feature with the remote when you're done using it is that there's a magnet at the top of the fan and a magnet inside the remote. You can place the remote upside down on top of the fan and that's where you can store it. You don't have to worry about it sliding off. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of the fan. So some of the pros for the fan, it's very modern looking. It's a nice conversation piece. I would consider it the iPhone uh, of fans or the Apple product of uh, fans out there. Dyson makes vacuums and has had a very good reputation for having kind of these products that are very modern looking and kind of thinking outside the box. And I think it's kind of the same thinking with this fan. Uh, in addition to that, some of the neat things about it are going to be the design, the fact that you can put your hand through it, it doesn't have any like moving pieces, you don't have the fan blades of a traditional fan, uh, it has the different features where it can oscillate, it's got the heating element to it, it's probably a great fan to have if you have kids or pets like dogs. Uh, you know, kids are going to want to put their fingers in the fan, the traditional blades, you know, that, that could be dangerous, whereas something like this, you don't have to worry about that. Same thing if you have dogs or pets and they might come up and they want to check the thing out. You know, from a safety standpoint, you don't have to worry about that. You have the remote, which is kind of convenient, uh, where you can change everything from the, you know, turning on the oscillating on and off. You can change the temperature of the heating element. You can change the direction of where you want the fan uh, air to blow. Those are all kind of, you know, extra features that are kind of neat that you're probably not going to get with a $20 fan from Walmart. All right, let's talk about the cons. So. The biggest con is probably that it is very expensive. Right now on Dyson's website, as of the making of this video, this fan is listed at $449. Now I'm sure you can find this fan cheaper uh, other places, probably online. If you're looking at this fan in stores, um, you might be able to find it on sale. You might be able to find it at a discount. It is a really nice space heater, so you can use it as a fan. You can also use it as a heating element uh, one of the main uses, uh, my family uh, has a screen room and the plan is to use this fan to see if it will heat up the space in that screen room. I may be doing another video in the future here, putting this, this fan to the test with the heater in it to see if it will keep that space adequately heated and uh, watch for that video a little bit later. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this review. I hope this kind of helped you get a better idea of some of the features and kind of lay out all the different options that you get with the Dyson Hot and Cool fan. If you liked this video, please consider checking out some of the other videos on our channel. We do all sorts of different type of tech toy gadget reviews as well as do-it-yourself projects and more. You can also subscribe to our channel. If you aren't already subscribed, go ahead right now, hit that subscribe button. You'll get updates every time we release new videos. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Forward. Be sure to make every day awesome, and we'll see you soon.